Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how we can install Laravel in Windows. In order for us to do that we need two things. We need Composer, which is a package manager, and we of course need PHP. So let's just get started. Head to php.net and then go into Downloads. And on Windows there's no installer, so we need to go into the Download for Windows and then grab the zip file from the non-thread safe version right here. And what I like to do is I like to go into my C drive and create a PHP folder within the C drive. You, of course, you can do whatever you want. And then we'll open the zip that we just got and we'll move the files over here. <clears throat> Perfect. So at this point, PHP has a, a what is called a a config file that we need to initialize. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to rename the PHP and e ENI, INI uh, development file. I'm going to rename it to just .ini and then we can open it in your editor of choice. And mine defaults to VS Code, so that's perfect. Let's just see if we can get that a little bit larger. Perfect. So what we're looking for now is that we need to enable a couple of extensions and if we just search for ext we should see some of them. There we go. So right here, here are the extensions. So we're going to need to en enable curl. This allows PHP to send HTTP requests, file info. Then we also want MB string. We want MySQL. We also want PDO MySQL, and if you're working on Postgres, then you can enable this one as well. And I think that's basically it. Yes, perfect. So at this point, PHP is ready to be used within uh, this folder, and we can verify that by running PHP test v. Oh, sorry. And we'll see that PHP is indeed enabled. The problem is that it only works under this current location that we're at, and that's not exactly what we want. So if you go into the start menu, we can search for environment, and then open this folder or this program. Go into environment variables, and then you can pick the path either for your own user or for the system. I'm going to go ahead and do it for the system, but it really it's, it's up to you. Okay, so at this point we need to add a new path, and what that basically means, or a new path to the path variable. What that means is that whenever we open the terminal, this is going to be loaded into it. So I'm just going to add PHP right here. I'm going to press OK. I'm going to close the terminal, and I'm just going to open the terminal right up here. And if everything worked, then we should be able to see that PHP is working right now. As you can see, it works like it should, uh, since we're able to access it from this directory. Perfect. So that begs the next question. How do we install Laravel? Well, in order for us to install Laravel, we need Composer. Composer is a package manager for PHP, and it's by far the most preferred uh, today. So in order to install it, we go to getcomposer.org, and then just download. And on Windows, there's an installer, which makes this very easy. We're just going to open it down here. and it locates the PHP um, file we created before and it's going to update a little bit with the settings that it needs. Press next and install. And there we go. Now we need to restart the terminal again. I am going to go... There we go. And if we say Composer now, we'll see that we can now enter Composer like so. The last thing we need to do now is to install Laravel. So we go on to laravel.com and into documentation. And within here, we have a, um, a section called installing via Composer. So down here we can run the Composer create project Laravel Laravel and then the name. And I'm just going to call this web demo. And this is going to create a new project with Laravel. Oh, yeah, with the Laravel framework. And this is probably going to take pff, about a minute or so, depending on uh, how fast your internet is and your computer, of course. The good thing is that 
composer caches all of these packages so if you need to create a new project later on it's gonna go very fast okay so at this point the um, the project has been initialized and in order for us to open it or to start using this uh, application we go into the directory that was just created remember we called it web demo so I'll change the directory web demo and let's just look at what's inside here so we have app, bootstrap, config, database, public resource, route storage, and all the other good stuff. But what's really important is the PHP artisan command, or the artisan file we see here. The artisan file is the command line and the way you interact with your application in Laravel. So if I say PHP artisan, PHP will execute this file and we should see a list of commands that can run. What we need to do now is to run the appropriate command and there's a lot of them and you don't need to understand any of them at this point but what's important is this one serve serve the application on the php development server so if we go down and say php artisan serve we'll see that it's starting a level development server at, at localhost 1800 or 18000 and if we then open it in a browser, we can now see that Laravel has indeed been uh, started. In order for us to close the, uh, the Laravel application, we can do so by just pressing Ctrl-C. And we can verify that it's closed by going back to the browser. And we can see that Chrome now is unable to connect to the server. So yeah, that's it. That's how you install PHP, Composer, and getting Laravel up and running on your Windows machine. Thank you for watching.